Hi, I'm Emily with Polo here with a quick overview of our Zumo robot. As you can see, the Zumo is quite small. It's designed to fit within the 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter limit for mini Zumo competitions. The one I have here is assembled with our Zumo shield for Arduino, which amongst other features includes a dual motor driver, a buzzer for simple sounds and music, a user push button, and a three axis accelerometer with compass. This shield is upside down from the way you would normally think about an Arduino shield. So the Arduino actually plugs into it like this. And if I flip it over here, you can see that there's a compartment for four AA batteries. And this section right here is what houses the micro metal gear motors. So right here I have just the body of a Zumo and the micro metal gear motors slide into this compartment here. We also have a standard sensor module for the Zumo and that connects into the bottom section right here. And that comes with the pre-assembled version of the Zumo. The Zumo is quite low profile, so it can really easily sneak under other robot sensors. It comes in multiple forms, so you can purchase it pre-assembled with the 75 to 1 HP gear motors installed and the line sensor. This guy right here just performed quite well in our local robotics club's recent mini sumo competition using our collision detect example code which is available on GitHub and that code uses the onboard three axis accelerometer to detect when it's hit another robot and then drive a little faster. For users that love to assemble things themselves, the Zumo is also available as a kit and that includes the base chassis, the shield, and the blade. This is really awesome because it means you can choose from our vast selection of micro metal gear motors, whichever one is the right one for what you wanna do with your Zumo. So for example, if you're really into line following and maze solving competitions, you could outfit your Zumo with 30 to one HP gear motors and that'll give you a bit more of a speedy Zumo. You can also purchase just the base chassis kit separately as a more general purpose robotics platform. You can do all sorts of stuff to add to and personalize your Zumo robot. A lot of people here have enjoyed spray painting the hubs and the blade to give it a little bit of flair. If you paint it black, that makes it a lot harder for robots that use IR sensors to detect them. You can add sensors on the sides. This guy here has a decoy flag that drops down at the beginning of a competition. And this one here is outfitted with an RC receiver and a camera so I can drive my camera around. As you can see, the Zumo is not just great for mini Zumo competitions, but it's also awesome as just a general purpose robotics platform. And for users that are already into using an Arduino, this is a really great choice if you want to get started in robotics. Thanks for watching, and when you get your Zumo, we'd love to hear how it goes and what you do with it, so don't forget to share on our forum.